Good morning, everybody. I'm going to um, start with the explanation of the reported speech because I think that some of you had some troubles in doing the exercises and I think that is because I didn't explain it properly. So the grammar is on page 53 of the book. So here is what you have here and direct speech and reported speech and I'm going to explain it in the board. So I recommend you take your notebook and you open it and then you write everything that I'm writing here, okay? So, I'm going to start. First of all, I'm going to put here what is the direct speech. And you are going to put in the other side the reported speech. So, first of all, we are going to draw. You know I love drawing, so we are going to draw a person that is here, okay, and it's a, a sentence. If I was in class, I will tell you, tell me a sentence in present. So, for example, I'm going to draw here a bubble, and I'm going to say a sentence, like, for example, I go to the cinema, okay? So, this person goes to the cinema. I go to the cinema. And what is reported speech? Well, in reported speech, we have to think that there is another person that is here. I'm going to draw it with a microphone. Okay, is with a microphone and it's a different person. So I'm going to draw that this is the reported and this is the person that is talking and it's a boy. Okay. And now she is going to explain what he said. So I'm going to draw here a bubble and I'm going to put here he said and then that there is optional that that you can put it or not. He said that he went to the cinema. Okay. He said that he went to the cinema. So what are the changes that are here in the reported speech related to the direct speech? In here, we are going to use present. This is the verb. And in the reported speech, we are going to use past. Right? We are going to change also the pronoun. So here I use be careful, the pronoun change, the pronoun or the subject, the pronoun that is going to make the subject is going to change. In this case is I and in this case is he, right? So this is another change, sorry, this is not the tense that is changing, it's this one, went, all right? So go changes into when and I is going to change into he, right? So these are the changes, this and this, okay? Let's going to do another example so you can see the difference. And in this case, I'm going to write different things. So I'm going to raise the bubbles, but I'm going to keep the rest of it basically the same. For example, I live with my sister, okay? I live with my sister. And then the reporter, the person that is explaining, have to say, he said, again, that he lived with and be careful with this because while you have here my you have to change his right with his sister so we have here another change i'm going to review all the changes uh the verb i live is going to change into lived the pronoun that makes the subject, that is I, is going to change into he, right? It's the same. 
and I add another one that is my, and here I have his. What is this? It's a possessive article. So here we have to write others, and in this case, this other will be my, and it's going to change into his. And these others can be different things that we have to have into account. In this case, it's a possessive article in changes in from my to his, but we are going to see other things. For example, let's go into add a tense, a temp or a time in which I live with my sister now. So here I have another thing that is an adverb of time now. What I have to put here to represent that time, because look, the rate of speech is in the present, but the reporting speech, we have to think, for example, that is um, a year later. Imagine, a year later, right? So he said that he lived with his sister, instead of now, will be then, entonces, o en aquel momento. I can also put at that moment, at that moment okay so now is going to change into then okay i live with my sister now he said that he lived with his sister then i hope that you with this understood what is the difference between the reported speech and the direct speech so the most common mistake is this one that you don't put the verb in past and the next one the next mistake that is very common is this, that you forget to change the possessive articles or that you forget to change the time or the place. Okay, let's go into represent the place. Uh, imagine I said, I live with my sister here. I live with my sister here instead of now. I live with my sister here. So what do I have to put here? I live with my sister there, okay? That will be the change in the reported speech. Here will be there. If I put a place, for example, in this house, I will have to say here in that house because this person is explaining to the audience, to the people, to the public, what is going to, what happened, sorry, in the past. I'm going to show you some examples also of other changes that you can do in the reported speech. Let me check this um, here. Okay. So this is a chart. If I have in present simple, he is American. She said, she said he was American. So I have to change the present to the past. I am happy to see you. Mary said that she was instead of I am. She asked, I are, are you busy tonight? He asked me if I was busy tonight. Another day I will explain you about the question, so don't worry about that now. And here, other present tenses. Apart from the present simple, we have other present tenses like the present continuous or the present perfect. The present simple is what we saw already. It's called today. She said that it was called that day. So instead of today, it will be that day. And present continuous, she said, I am now teaching English online. She said that she was then, instead of now, you have to put then. And she said, um, she was then teaching English online. Here in present perfect, she said, I have posted on this web since uh, 2005 and she said that she had posted on that web since 2005 so basically it changed okay. have for had okay and I'm going to show you a chart uh, I think it's this one yes this one that I already showed you in the online class so how to change the time and place, okay? You have also this in the Aula Virtual, and I hope that with this explanation, you can understand a little bit better what is the reported speech. So we will continue doing this during the week when we go back to the classes. Thank you for listening and goodbye.